The National Democratic Congress says Electoral Commission printed excess ballot papers of over one million. The NDC has vowed to expose the Electoral Commission. It also wants election violence perpetrators to be brought to book. At the police headquarters, members of the NDC legal team have submitted a petition to the Inspector General of Police demanding two things. The step taken by the NDC comes after the Electoral Commission challenged the NDC flag bearer in the 2020 elections, John Dramani Mahama, to provide evidence for claims he had made during his thank you tours. Today we are here with two letters. The first one is a petition to the IG to investigate and then prosecute persons who were involved in the printing of the over one million uh, excess ballot papers. These persons could also include or even include InnoLink one of the companies that had the responsibility to print the ballot papers and in whose care we saw the excess one million ballots. The second letter has to do with an update on the various you know, atrocities, violence that took place during the 2020 elections, which were reported to the police. Have they prosecuted anybody? Have they uh, come out with any docket which requires that some people must be prosecuted? We handed over the letters to his aide camp and we hope that he will bring it to the attention of the IGP. No matter how we don't trust them, we cannot do without them. That is the Ghana police is the only police institution we have in this country. If you don't even trust them, you are bound to deal with them. We are of the view that if the police service, as it stands now, is for the people of this country and they are in to save the people of this country, the police has no other business than to ensure that they do a thorough work regarding this matter. Anything short of that, Ghanaians are watching. And I'm sure we have a, a new sheriff in town who would want to leave a legacy. He started well. We think that people will be watching. Now that it is about the opposition, how will he handle it? And that's how people will be beginning to look at him. And I'm sure he will distinguish himself. The first letter, which talks about uh, updating, we don't think that that should take more than seven days. With the issue of uh, investigating and prosecuting persons who are involved in the printing of over one million ballot papers, presidential ballot papers, we think that within a month, they should be 